Hi guys, and today we have Sai from IQ City Medical College. So she cracked this medical seat in NEET 2019. Thanks for joining, Sai. Hi everybody, thanks for having me. I'm very glad to be here. So, like, there are many students who face a lot of pressure during their years of preparation. And today we have Sai, like, whose father is a cardiologist, whose brother is an alumnus of uh, IAC Bangalore. So there's too much pressure on her. There was too much pressure on her. And now we will have a conversation on how she dealt with this pressure and her ongoing life in IQ City Medical College. So let's begin. Well, uh, the first question which I would like to ask you is that since when was this pressure building on you that you have to achieve something big in your life? I This was since a very long time, since my childhood. And because my father is a doctor and I also have an older brother. So together uh, I was like um, feeling pressurized because I felt I needed to perform. And because I was specifically very afraid if I failed. Uh, I was afraid of the consequences of uh, failure, so I was very afraid since a really, uh, really uh, since childhood actually. Okay, so like, would you like to elaborate about the all kinds of pressure, the coaching pressure as well as the family pressure which you had on you throughout the years of your preparation? Uh, yeah, family. I had a lot of family pressure as well, and I think family support actually plays a very important role. So if somebody has a lot of family uh, support backing up I think they are able to perform a lot better and I think they are very lucky and fortunate in that way and because I didn't receive that much of support from my parents uh, yeah my mother was uh, supportive but still uh, there was a lack of support uh, from my family I would say and uh, considering as you said about uh, coaching in coaching there will definitely be a lot of pressure because there will be others performing better than you and um, as soon as you start comparing yourself with others you will feel pressurized and that is pretty normal uh, some people tend to be more pressurized I think that is a lot of uh, depending on their personality um, I also I think uh, I'm naturally a very anxious person I get anxious and uh, tensed very easily so I think for people like me I think it is very important to confide in um, the near in people close to you so that uh, you can have your problems resolved as soon as possible and uh, the pressure obviously varies because from family pressure to coaching because in coaching it's mostly uh, study oriented and uh, related to studies and performances and all of that in family you can have all external issues as well uh, like, um, you know, you know, future and a lot of things are at stake. I will not go into details about that. Uh, but yeah, essentially, it, were, it is very different. Okay, so moving on. Now you have a life at IQ City Medical College. So you have a private seat. So would you like to elaborate about the thing that is the private medical college is worth all the money which you pay for the seat? Um, yeah, everything see comes with uh, lots of advantages as well as disadvantages, and so does IQ City. And uh, so there are pros and cons both to this college. And of course, I wouldn't say that it is a complete waste of money. And when I first came into this college, I was very apprehensive, and uh, uh, I thought that uh, I'm spending so much of money of my father to come and study, so I must. Uh, actually very uh, sincerely study uh, I shouldn't waste money and all of that but then see at the end of the day uh, it's not like a study doesn't happen in our college and like that so there are good things and bad things both and depending on one's preferences I think a student should get to decide what he or she wants for himself or herself and accordingly will choose a college accuracy will not be a bad option in that case in my opinion Okay, so yes, that will lead to like a lot of perspectives and I would like to get into the details so that the audience can have their own perspective. So like, would you like to tell about the campus of your private college? Thank you, Siti. Uh, well, obviously you get to uh, see a lot of pictures online. Now, sometimes reality is a little bit different. Uh, well, in my case, what happened... Um, 
the hostel pictures which I found in the website was different from what we got in real. But then again, the campus which is shown in pictures is very real actually. Like not that they show something and in reality it's very different. Uh, well, actually it is very spacious and IQ City is essentially a city. So it has uh, lots of facilities built within the system and uh, uh, it's a huge campus and uh, I, I don't think many colleges have uh, that uh, much of area. Uh, in Kolkata especially, you don't have uh, so much of space. So if, uh, no government colleges, so as to say, has this space in Kolkata at least. And uh, beyond uh, or outside Kolkata, IQ City is a preferably good option because uh, it's, it has a very good uh, campus life, a beautiful scenery and um, a lovely view. Okay, so that was the campus life. Like, So how is the hostel life? How is the hostel? The hostel is also pretty good because you're actually paying a lot of money for this. So um, uh, yeah, like uh, in government hostels, so people share, many people actually share, have to share rooms in our cases. You actually get to choose if you want to share rooms with one person, two person, uh, or you want to stay all by yourself. And of course, the amount of money you pay will increase accordingly. Uh, but then you can also get your own privacy if you're choosing to stay in single rooms. In hostel, we have strict regulations and rules. So a lot of parents uh, who might be you know, worried about the security of the children do not need to be worried actually because there are stringent rules to ensure uh, in the in time and everything is there in place and uh, the hostel is also pretty good and uh, it is decent i would say it is much better than of course government colleges and uh, it is very justified as well because we are actually paying uh, a significant amount of money and of course they're much better than government hostels so uh, it's it feels better to live uh, in our hostels Okay, so apart from the hostels, like, do the students get an option to live in an apartment, like, outside the hostel? Yeah, so, uh, basically, because the payment is high, of course, and um, there is, a, I think there's a rule that they can actually increase your uh, payment, your host, uh, hostel fees can actually be increased, um, so there is no certainty of the amount you have to pay, actually, so... And uh, sometimes the management may become a little bit, um, you know, um, financially they might drain a lot of money. So what uh, many of our students here do is that they uh, they rent apartments. And as I said, that IQ City is a city. So uh, there are apartments, there are also buildings and you can rent, you can share even rooms with your friends. And uh, over there, you have uh, two BHK, three BHK apartments. Over there, if you're sharing, of course, uh, you have to pay a lot less amount of money. And also, you can get your own room in that case. And uh, yeah, a lot of cost is reduced or uh, lowered uh, if you are renting an apartment, which you can do if your parents allow. Yeah. Okay, what was your preference while choosing the hostels or the apartments? Well, uh, in the beginning, it was, um, I chose a three-seater room because I felt that would be the cheapest since already my father was paying a lot of money for me. But then later on, of course, I had my own preferences and I chose uh, differently and otherwise. And regarding this apartment thing, uh, so far now I haven't really chosen to shift and, uh, you know, permanently go and stay there uh, because I... There are reasons, uh, disadvantages also, like, which I will not go into specifically now. Like, uh, for example, like, if you're staying in the apartment, you have to walk a certain distance to come into college. Like, unlike us, we hostel inmates, we just literally get up one minute before the class starts and we rush to the class, like, anything like that. So, you don't get to do that. So, like, that, you know, like, and also because my parents are a little bit, um, worried about the safety because uh, of course in the apartments you don't have any security as such I mean, I mean i don't mean that they don't have any security i mean not as much as in hostels and many parents fear that students will be doing a lot of wrong things and like that so some parents allow some don't uh, but in my case i haven't still decided until now i'm just staying in my hostel only
so like staying at your hostel so how is the food there the food uh, yeah so the mess food is okay like uh, of course you can't expect a, a hostel food to be you know five star quality or even like your mom cook mom's cook food of course but um yeah there are certain days when they give um really horrible food like horrible in the sense uh, nothing delicious as such but uh, sometimes uh, the food is edible at least and uh, uh yeah i mean it's not very perfect and they don't give a lot of meat pieces for example you have a limit you can only have two at a max uh but then yeah like you can at least uh, have food normal food edible food not very bad not very good at also but at least edible okay so tell me the details about the faculty the seniors how are they at iq city um the seni- uh, the faculty yeah the faculty is a very important thing so in my college uh, in my first year we had a lot of good teachers but towards the end a lot of them resigned actually so in the end we didn't have a lot of good teachers remaining so that was a little bit disturbing for all of us uh because um sometimes it can happen that in a certain department you literally have no teacher i mean you will never have no teacher but you have probably only one teacher teaching and that's a difficult situation but um in our first year we were having a situation like that towards the end not in the beginning because in the beginning we had good teachers so in sec i'm now in second year so in second year so far we are having only online classes of course now uh because of lockdown and um, the teachers are pretty good moderately good so far uh, they are teaching well and uh, uh, the teachers are good i wouldn't say that they're very bad but um, yeah some teachers are very are some are very good like better than the others uh, some teachers are not so good but then of course at the end of the day the student has to study himself in order to perform the teachers are of no meaning if you don't study yourself so the real effort lies within the student and about the seniors you said so the seniors um, they are also pretty good actually and especially people who worry about ragging and all uh, we have an anti ragging committee in our college so people don't uh, get to rag us or juniors as such and uh, seniors there several of uh, the seniors who are very friendly very approachable and um, yeah they are very nice as well and uh, uh, ragging doesn't happen of course not to the extent that happens in government colleges as you would probably get to hear and uh, yeah seniors and juniors now mixed uh, people are there like some are good some are not so good but overall ragging thing is not at least there in our college okay good that you touched upon the ragging point otherwise i would have mentioned it anyway uh, moving on like uh, tell me that how far is uh, the college from the railway station or the, any kind of transportation how reachable it is how's the location yeah it is um, it is very uh, it's not very close but kind of close to the bus station uh, to the bus stop so the durgapur um, city center that is a place like where a lot of people actually we go and hang out where the malls and everything is there so that is not very distantly located so a convenient location is there and regarding the station i haven't actually traveled um, by train so far i'm not pretty sure of the station the, sta- the station distance is also not very uh, very like very long and uh, the bus dist- bus route is also like if you take an auto you can take an auto or a bus to get to the bus stop and uh, uh, it takes half an hour by an hour 40 minutes to get there so a 40 minute journey to the bus stand like that yeah and lastly uh, what i would like to know from you is that how was your experience in iq city so it's one year complete one year in college and what advice would you give to your juniors who would uh, think about joining your college in the next upcoming year uh, so far in my experience has been pretty good although i just i got to stay over uh, at my college for almost around 10 months only because of the pandemic uh, and i'm surely lo- looking forward to more experiences with my friends uh, of my college and um, we had uh, our fest 
as soon as we went into our college so in our college it's called ricorenza and brief uh, briefly said as uh, rico and uh, because we are the first batch to have the cbme uh, curriculum introduced so we had our uh, we have a new course of like different uh, differently things are being taught to us than our seniors and also we had a foundation course in the beginning of the session itself which also is something newly introduced to us and not done to us sen- with our seniors and uh, so we were talked about this uh, attitude ethics stuff and firstly going into college you take this um, there is this oath taking and then you get to wear the white coat and all of these experiences which you have first as a first comer to the college like uh, that is pretty amazing all these experiences actually uh, like remind you why you had worked so hard to get into a medical college and that finally your dreams of being becoming a doctor will become like come true so uh, yeah so it's had, it has been a pretty good experience and as i said i'm looking forward to more uh, making new and more of these experiences in the coming years okay so thanks for the collaboration it was wonderful talking to you like uh, so it was a very informative conversation i would like to say and i guess the audience must have liked it and they can now create a perspective knowing about all the facts of iqct medical college so thanks for sharing uh, thanks a lot uh, for watching guys and that's it for now thank you and i as i said i enjoyed it a lot myself as well thanks